Hi, this is Shady, and we're still in the topic of open guard and groundwork. And today I have two things to share with you. It's the Wadi Komi, the knee slice you see here in front of you, and uh, a counter to it, which can be potentially very, very devastating for the legs, especially if leg locks are allowed. Uh, but it can also be used as a pass. And also, I want to share something that Hanzo Gracie shared on his Instagram, and it really took me off guard. So I thought it would be fun to share it with you but also talk about at the end the course in judo class that i had yesterday and i will share many things so first let's start with the wari komi or the um, shin on thigh uh, technique um, what you guys call in the west or bjj uh, knee slice or knee cut pass is when you actually uh, use your shin to slide it across the inner thigh as you complete uh, the pass or get through both of your partner's leg here you can see the basic variation being shown uh, in this book uh, Neiwaza revealing the secrets of Kosen Judo which I shared in my last video you can pause and read if you'd like to so this is the basic form of it so uh, obviously there is many defense to it uh, especially in this day and age or throughout the decades there's many solutions to someone trying to do a knee cut or a knee slice and we will see exactly that so you can see you put your shin you actually have to isolate the arms because you don't want them to drag you down especially by the lapel or the sleeve and then you continue from there slicing hence the name so this variations of waikomi you can see that uh, one of the um, basic defenses of uh, a knee slice is actually to get the other leg across twirl it and create a frame uh, but you can actually use that frame to your advantage and as you can see from the top left to right you actually take the leg you put it inside your thigh now here is, is where it can get dangerous uh, you have that leg uh, of uke that's uh, on your uh, lower abdomen that can actually be uh, targeted because now there's a frame on it and that frame is stuck underneath your own thigh and from there if you can extend your hips forward and downwards you can actually create a very nasty um, ankle lock because you have that leg that's coming across to prevent the slice um, it's there on the ankle level so you can actually create a lot of damage on the ankle by just lowering your weight down and extending your hips another thing you can do is um, really damage the knee by taking the ankle and actually putting it down uh, rotating the entire shin downwards that can also destroy the knees now when it comes to passing as you can see from the top three bottom three photos you actually just go to the side and actually just lift your leg up releasing the grip and getting there it's not actually lowering your hips on the entangled legs because i would imagine you can actually do a lot of damage uh, with this uh, variation of warikomi so um i when i saw this like the entanglement of the legs and how they are right on your hips I immediately thought that by extending your hips you can actually do a lot of damage like uh, a yoki locks even the heel hook the heel hook is not only about rotation but if you if you see Craig Jones and anyone who teaches the heel hook they will tell you that extension of the hips will do far more damage and a far shorter lever and here you can do the same to the ankle um, the same we saw with the Mikey lock and uh, here instead of a pass you can actually attack the legs so uh, this is something for you to, to check out. There's many gems and diamonds that I saw in this book and I will share as we go along But it's not gonna be every day from this book. Obviously the content should be much more diverse So next is the subway open guard game when I first saw it uh, well lately, I've been very uh, I'd say adamant and very talkative about you know don't play guard and don't you know pull guard and uh, don't be on the ground on the street basically because a lot can go wrong and when i saw this and i saw the guy really moving it in and these guys uh, going at it i was like maybe i was wrong and uh and maybe you know pjj can you know be used efficiently and fully uh like kind of like what you do in the gym or the school or you know ibjjf style uh, competition but here, if you, if you notice, these guys are obviously playing around. Uh, if you go down to the comments of Hanzo, <laughs> if you go down to the comments of Hanzo's video, you can see people are having a good time and these guys are obviously 
you know, having fun. Like he got the guillotine and locked it in. And then they just kept going at it. This is obviously two guys who train together are rolling in the train for, for fun, basically. But, um, the, the guy in the Venom, uh, hoodie, uh, you don't want to be in his place, especially when you twirl around and, you know, leaving your, uh, buttocks up like that and your, your face, your head on the ground because you can easily get stomped. Uh, so many things around you can be used against you, like, uh, an edge of a door, the edge of a corner. Um, the the little pole that you grab sometimes to uh, to keep balance when the subway is going really fast. But this is something really fun I, I saw and I thought I had to share it with you. So because it really took me off guard and I thought, hey, maybe I was wrong. But um, now obviously you can use the guard. You can use a lot of stuff from Newaza in self-defense. There, you don't need me to tell you that. But in terms of full-on fledged roll on the streets, I... Of course, it's not the best thing to do. The best thing to do is to just take them down and disengage and go. Um, but here, these guys are obviously having uh, some fun. So I thought I'd share it with you. Now, regarding the Kosen Judo class that I had yesterday, of course, I had in mind to go and film. I wasn't just there to... Obviously, I was there to learn. I was obviously there to discover since I'm on this journey. But obviously, I had content in mind to produce. Uh, I asked, of course, and here's the thing, you know, you, you are someone that's coming in for the first time, um, they've never seen you before, um, and you're not Japanese, so I would assume it's, they're not gonna be, okay, hey, you know, open up that camera and just film away, it's not gonna be that simple. Also, um, Sensei explained to me that there was a law, apparently, that, um, you know, unconsensually under 20 taking videos like this can be troubling. I'm not like familiar with the entire law thing. Neither does he, but he said, you know, it can get, uh, it can get you into trouble. But he said there is an, uh, this was mainly the under 20 year old class. As you can see, a lot of them are just very young and some of them were, you know, twenties, thirties. Uh, but, uh, there is above 21 a class, which will be, next week i'll try to go at it again um and also he says that the secrecy of the team is very important you have a big platform he said and uh we compete against a lot of universities against a lot of teams and uh, we don't want anything leaking out which is very understandable uh, and which also explains the current state of course in judo there's barely anything online on youtube even till this day like i've been talking about course in judo for three years now and Still very little um, online on YouTube, uh, but uh, I said I said to him I obviously respect the rules and I respect the team and I respect the the athletes, but I just wanted to show just a little bit of the structure of the class. What's going on? Uh, I'm not gonna show like a full on uh, exp explanation of a technique of a sweep and then just put it out there. I'm just gonna show a little bit what you guys do. In a normal class so here how it went we did a lot a lot a lot of warm-ups crawling um shrimping um you know jumping off your upper or lower back all these things and uh, by the way i understand why purple belts don't come for the warm-ups so i feel you but um it, it's very important anyways um then uh, he showed a couple of techniques um uh, and then from there we did uchikomi, kind of like when you drill your uh, favorite technique, you know, throw, but also you can drill your favorite sweep, you can drill your favorite turtle attack, you can drill uh, a sweep from turtle guard, etc. Anything you like, you can drill it. And then uh, randori starts one, the first half of the round is someone uh, in the kame position. Like I said in my post, you don't have to keep it. Um, you can roll away immediately, you can sweep from it, you can, and you can play really passive and just be uh, solid as a rock. Uh, and then half of the second round, the other guy puts himself in a uh, Kame position. And then from there, it's stand up, randori. Um, the throw is a clear upon, but if a throw fails or scores only Wazari, you have to fully engage on the ground. You can pull guard as well, you can see it from a mile away when they cross grip your lapel. Um, but the guys are really tough. Um, even the really young ones, like I said, under 20, 
I got a couple of taps in. I was very happy about that. Uh, when I rolled with the Sensei, he was very, very explosive, really fast, clearly experienced, and he just absolutely mauled me. And uh, uh, there is, I, I found a lot of differences between it and BJJ, preferential uh, differences, and I'll cover it later on when I do get to film and when I do get to cover what a class looks like. So uh, please be patient with me. Uh, and I told them, my goal is to spread judo and show judo what it is. It's not to, you know, take your techniques and show them and, uh, you know, profit off of it only. And it's not. It's really about spreading judo. And I've been doing that for almost three years now. This summer is going to be my third year on YouTube, which is insane if I when I think about it. So uh, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only. Of course, my main content will always be on the channel, but um, your support would mean greatly. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.